What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are having Chipotle. Hey you guys, I literally just woke up from the longest nap ever. I'm so tired. You can probably see it in my face. It was a really long day for me because it was an early day as usual, but I also had so much to do um, in preparation for my 12-day hiatus. So what I have for you is Chipotle. I've got chips with queso. We have a burrito, which I double wrapped this time so I can completely take it out of the foil. Hopefully it doesn't drip. And then I, okay, you guys. I never drink Mexican Coke. Well, I don't drink full sugared Coke at all, even American. But I heard if you're gonna drink Coke, you have to drink this kind because it is real sugar. I can't drink out of the bottle because I just don't do that, but we're gonna pour it in here. I can't remember the last time I had a really I really, really. I can't remember the last time I had a Mexican Coke. Let's try it. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I had a Coke. I always drink Diet Coke. I don't really like Coke. <laughs> okay, so I do prefer Diet Coke. And it, that thing, excuse me. Okay, I do prefer Diet Coke, but it doesn't even have anything to do with being diet. I actually prefer the way Diet Coke tastes better. For some reason, I love the artificial sweetener taste. I'm so tired. I wasn't even going to eat because I'm not really, 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 really craving anything. So I was like, but I have to put something up for you guys. Okay, remember last time we did like this? Mmm. I did DoorDash this this time. Oh my gosh, and I literally placed the order like 10 minutes ago and it's already here. I guess there's a Chipotle nearby. It's definitely not the one I went to and I picked it up. When I pick it up, I would get the one that's like closer to my work. Mm. I need a queso in my life. No stories to report today. The guy was quick and punctual. He did kind of freak, ugh, excuse me. He did kind of freak me out though, cause I like meet them in the lobby, which I still hate that we have to do that. But I always get there before them to make sure that, you know, if there's any issues. And I don't like it when they just sit your food down cause anyone could like go up and grab it, you know? But anyways, and it's not the front desk responsibility, well, it is a responsibility. But they don't leave it with the concierge anymore. There's like a station where they're supposed to put drop-offs. But anyways, back on track. Um, he kind of freaked me out because he texted me and he's like, I dropped off your food. And in my building, there's this very similar sister building next, like across the street. And a lot of people go there. And I'm like, that's not where I live. Okay, so... This is double wrapped. Which side are we eating from? Which is all the carbs that I don't need. Not that I'm watching that right now, but. In this burrito, we have chicken, steak, lettuce, veggies, pinto beans, guacamole, sour cream, cheese. And I think that's it. First bite. And of course, it's just all tortilla.
when I was coming back upstairs. Oh, there was this guy. I feel like I have to like paint the image for you. He was like the person who like walks around slopping their feet around without picking them up. Mm. Last time, the veggies is what I forgot to put on it and I remember this time. But anyways, he's the type of guy that can't pick up his feet when he walks. He had on a muscle shirt. Like one of the white Hanes ones. You buy like the three pack. He had on these like super like ratty looking like basketball shorts. He was like medium build, just slouchy. His pants were like hanging down low, right? Completely smelled like weed. Well, like the cheap weed. You guys know my stance on this. By the elevators, I feel like there's elevator etiquette. Because we all do it. We have three elevators in my building because it's a large high rise. And they're all lined up in a row. So I'm like standing there waiting for my food. I'm like, when you walk up to the elevators, there's one, two, three. So normally in human life, you stand closer to the first one in the hall because you never know which one's gonna come open first. So in that way, if that one opens, I go in that one because I'm the first one there. It's like a line, I go in. And then if the other one's open, then you kind of walk and you all formation, right? He just like walks up, flopping his feet, pushes the button that, mind you, I, already, I have already pushed. Which you can clearly see because the light is on. Pass right by me and goes and stands at the last elevator. Flop, flop, flop. <laughs> That's what that. Those were his flip flops. Does not have on a mask. There's a thing like on the elevators. There's messages inside the elevators. Like he was just annoying me, and I don't even know him. And then it opens, but this is also the kind of person he is. He's literally standing two inches away from the elevator before it even opens, and I hate. This is really good. Mm. Mm. The juice is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting frazzled now. My napkin's falling and everything. Hold on. I'm not a fan of double wrapping, but it's essential to eat it. So then, the door opens, and he's like this close to it. And people clearly are trying to get off. But do you guys hate that too? Like, have you ever, when you try to get on an elevator and people try to come in before you even can get off the elevator? That literally, I know I say everything makes my skin crawl, but it makes my blood boil. <sighs> and then of course, like these other guys are coming off the elevator and they have on masks. And they kind of like made these, like, you know, I'm like watching. Their eyes totally said that they were in way too with how he was trying to come on without them even being able to exit first. So then he gets in and then takes forever to fondle his key fob to like click the floor he needs to get on. 
I always have mine ready because I also push the elevator buttons with it. He pushes it. And I'm like waiting, like, hello, can I do mine? Like, you're taking forever here. But he's like, again, flop, flop, flop. I'm carrying my food. I'm like looking at the sign that says mask. He has no mask. I'm like, you know, like glancing at him and like, not in a bad way, but I just like, I'm in my own world. Just annoying. I don't know. I just I think what really rubs me the wrong way are inconsiderate people. I think at the end of the day, that's like my biggest like deal breaker. If you're inconsiderate, we can't be friends. Look at this. <gasps> Mm. And I put lettuce in here too. Did I say lettuce? Lettuce is like my... Rice. Mm. I'm sorry, this video is messy. You guys know how I feel about that, too. <laughs> and I crashed. I literally fell asleep for hours. I woke up, I paid some bills. So it's kind of late. And now I'm here with you guys. Really, I'm just taking it by, you know, trying not to be an over planner. Um, this is like falling apart now. That's why I normally keep the foil on. Um, but I can't leave until Saturday mid morning. I forgot I have a hair appointment. I think I told you guys this already. I'm gonna take it a shade lighter. And then I need to get a cut. Kids will roll with it. I was watching this documentary on the Winchester Manor. And she's the lady who like built the house with all the rooms that are like really weird. And doors and stairways that led to nowhere. That would be a really cool place to go. I'm surprised I never visited it since I lived in California. Why didn't I even know? I didn't even know about it. My housekeeper's gonna be like, I can tell what you ate all week. <laughs> a french fry, a piece of like, whatever.
Mm. The steak is kind of dry. I should have gotten double chicken. I don't normally like to order Chipotle before they close because it's kind of like buffet style, right? Like these tortillas are a little hard. This was okay. I remember when I was growing up, people like collected these. Is that still a thing? I just remember like the Santa Claus and the polar bear during Christmas was like the iconic like Coca-Cola thing for me. But, if I had to choose, I'm a Pepsi Cola kind of person. For those who think young. moment was inevitable I should have got a burrito bowl but I really wanted more crunchy tacos but I knew if I ordered them I risked them breaking. I'm really tired, you guys. Tomorrow I'm just gonna like sleep in because it's my first day off. Go to the gym. I did not get salsa. Like their salsa makes your stomach hurt. Or at least for me. Mm. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's another late one, but we're on vacation for the next 12 days, so I hope that you guys um, will hang out with me on those days that I'm off, but you'll definitely see me tomorrow. I love you guys so much, and have a good night. Bye.